Hello, Amy the Sparky here. This week's video is just a really short sort of review, I guess, on the new MK screwless socket. Uh, I'm on a job at the minute um, where we're using some, so I thought I'd take the opportunity to have a look at one. I've seen a lot of stuff on the internet the last couple of weeks about these sockets, so I thought I'd just uh, have a look at the pros and cons of them. Let me know what you think about them. Are you using them? Are you going to use them? Are they the future? Do you think they're a good idea? Uh, yeah, any feedback, uh, leave, leave in the comments. Thank you. With hints, tips and tradey chat. Hey! Grab yourself a brew because it's about to start. This is Women in Trades with Amy the Sparky. Before the show starts, I just quickly wanted to talk to you about Tradeify. Tradeify is a fast growing job management platform for all busy tradespeople. It's great for managing all sorts of business admin such as quotes, tracking invoices, timesheets and appointments, leaving you more time to focus on other important things. Tradeify have very kindly given me a discount code for my viewers so check them out by clicking the link in my show description and using discount code AMY50 to get 50% off. Now, let's crack on with this show. I've got some of these new MK screwless sockets. We're using them on one of the jobs that we're on at the minute. Um, I've seen a lot of videos recently online on Instagram and TikTok of people using these and the pros and cons. So I just thought I'd do a quick video to um, yeah, have a look see what it's like firstly I feel like it's quite deep so I'm not sure I didn't actually read in, when I picked this up from um, Screwfix if you're supposed to use a 35mm box but I'm going to try and fit it in a 25mm box see how it goes you've got space to put three cables in each socket you've got a little cable strip length there I'm not sure if you can see that it says 10mm so that's a little guide how much you need to strip back for it to fit perfectly in there. Um, I'm going to do a little cable pull test first because I've seen this a lot on um, different videos. Um, so I just want to see what it's like myself. So I'm just going to strip a bit of cable. One sec. So this is 10 mil. That's about 10 mil. Oh, slightly over, one sec. You can see there on the guide. Okay, so. I'll pop these in here. And neutral. Okay. I saw some people making that look really easy, but it's not actually that easy to pull them out. Um, I'll try them again. I don't think you like you'd never pull a socket like that anyway. Uh, you you take we take sockets off all the time, don't we, for testing, and you literally unscrew it and tip the front forward, really, don't you? Like I can't see any reason why you'd be pulling um, at a socket front in that way to make it come off like that. So no, I don't. I can't see as it that that isn't going to be an issue. Right, I'm going to fit it now and see what it's like for sort of depth in the box. I'll cut these ends off because they're a bit um, damaged because obviously I've just took another socket front off this. I'll check that about 10. 10 mil. Oh, 
so they're all in. It's maybe a little bit tight. Um, these cables that are coming in from the back in this box, so that's not helping. Um, and I think probably if they were coming in from the bottom, that might be an issue as well, just because the cable goes into the bottom of the socket. So you need enough to sort of come in up and go round, if you know what I mean, because you're not going to put like one inch of cable in, are you? So without putting too much pressure on the cable, yeah, I think you'd probably be better putting 35 mil boxes in. Yeah, I'd probably put 35 mil boxes in. Um, we're putting 35 mil boxes in for switches and stuff um, now most of the time anyway, because we're running a three core down to switches, so we've got a neutral there. Uh, for future proofing so it might not be you know a huge issue but if you use these in a whole house you, you've got like a standard tightness for the cables haven't you so you, there's no over tightening of terminals um so say you were to you, sometimes you screw the earth if you screw it too tight you push it back it might snap because you've over tightened it you, you can't you can't do that with these they're all going to be the same tightness um, I remember talking about this on Monday Club actually once um, people were saying, someone said about how come there's no, we don't have a torque, you know, a figure to tighten sockets to, like we do at, um, a fuse board, everything has to be a certain tightness, but not at sockets, maybe this is the answer, all sockets are going to be the same tightness. As for the issue with the pulling the cables out, I don't think that's an issue. You're going to take a socket off, you're going to tip it forward, you're going to do your testing, you're going to put it back on. If you were doing a house with, you know, 40, 50 of these, it would be much faster to fit these rather than ones that you, uh, you know, traditional ones with screw terminals. So, yeah, I'd be tempted to use these. As for the quality, the actual sockets seem exactly the same quality as normal the normal mk range so i think mk is you know good quality so yeah i'd be tempted to use these is anybody else using them have you got customers asking for them um have you seen them have you had to go with them what do you think let me know uh, what do you think about for testing like speed of testing do you think they're going to be good um yeah let me know what you think that was Women in Trades with Amy the Sparky. Never miss an episode by subscribing now. Just hit the subscribe button and turn your notifications on.